Good morning everyone. Well, it's not morning anymore. It's 11 a.m. We slept in a little bit longer than we thought. We are in the beautiful village Kalambaka right now in northern Greece. And today we are going to go on a hike to the Mechuaras. You might recognize inspiring Meteora in Pokemon, James Bond, and Game of Thrones, World of Z, Call of Duty, Tomb Raider, or even album by Linkin Park. As it seems, many of the official paths for hiking seem to be blocked with fences, so we need to adjust our route now. Being in front of those rocks is just crazy. They just seem like big, huge elephants. I don't know, it's, it's really intimidating. What's very interesting is that all those big rock sediments, they, from far they look like massive stones, but when you come close, it looks more like natural concrete with all those stones in it and like cement walls holding it together. That's it. <laughs> I could they do this all day long. <laughs> no, no kidding. So if you're standing here long enough, you feel like the stones up there are gonna fall on your head. It's, your mind is like playing a trick on you. On you. Look at that. It's crazy to think that the path we are taking now monks and nuns hundreds of years ago but probably the same path that we are taking and they were building um, the churches just up there i'm already have trouble coming up here and they just did that with i guess with the energy from the belief it's just crazy to me Spirit. spirits when you look closely you can find ruins all over the place there are no signs for it so you don't really know from when they're coming from i guess we found a normal hiking path again because we got a little lost of all those little paths that people seem to make because of all those interesting things so uh, <laughs> you can go everywhere but often the path leads to nowhere or at least just a stone and because we saw how uh, easily the stones break out, I'm not in the mood for uh, climbing up that. And if you want to go the same path as Adelina did, you can do that easily. Just follow the sunflower seeds, the Semichki. Because it's forbidden by law to fly the drone inside the Meteora, we are walking a bit further away from it. And as you can see, we reached the spot. We're almost outside of it. But uh, for security reasons, let's go a little bit further because the drone tends to fly 
with the wind a bit. And we have dog of friends with us who are looking how we fly the drone, aren't you? How was the flight? I think it was great. For that little fella here. <laughs> it's crazy what you can do with that small thing. We are already behind the most Meteora stones as uh, before, as the place where we started. And uh, as of for now, I have to say that the whole hike, hiking trail here is pretty doable for um, a lot of people. Just some parts may be difficult when you have problems walking because you just have to climb a little bit, but it's not steep, it's not exhausting. I guess it's doable for everyone to hike, don't you think? Mm -hmm. So we're just discussing how we both are a little bit tired yes. and also not really um, talkative or entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it's going to be more a quiet hike because that's what you're having. And if you are still with us, then uh, that's good also for your mental health, you know, seeing some nature, the friendly faces and some reality. Good for you. <laughs> you can eat here if you want. <laughs> Philip told me it's very easy to go down here. At the end of the 14th century, monks were seeking a retreat from the expanding Turkish occupation. It is unknown when the first Eastern Orthodox monasteries and churches were built. Some of the ruins could be 700 to 900 years old. The fact that they were built on top of the stone formations shows how dedicated and all-giving to monks and nuns were. Originally, 24 monasteries were built. Today, only six of them are still functioning, housing not more than 56 monks and nuns. out how they did it 600,000 years ago. They used rusty frameworks. Those cheaters. If you're standing in the middle of those rocks, you are not feeling any wind and you're not hearing anything. It's just, you feel really safe. It's weird. That's probably why they chose this place to do it. Like uh, six kilometers. We only have half of it. Yes. Are you kidding me? I don't know why a bear wouldn't like. 
like it here. Uh, it seems like not a lot of fruit. That's true. It feels like you're on in a room because the stones are all around this place. And if there is any noise, you can hear everything really clear. It's special. <laughs> we did it! We're on the top of it and in the back is Adelina. And in the back from Adelina is the big monastery. I think we're gonna go home now and have some dim dinner, maybe get our gas. And not allowed to film in the monasteries, but I think you are allowed to film before them. So let's do that. That the monastery is closed on the on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And we are having... Today is Tuesday. Wow! Just that you know, if you want to go and visit this place, if you are a woman, you need to wear a skirt and it should be longer than your knees. And of course, no shoulder showing for both men and women. Look at it, when you look up, it's kind of intimidating. It's really uh, ancient. I, I kind of like it here. Let's go on a dungeon then. <laughs> Skyrim. Okay, that looks promising. <laughs> yeah. That, I think that's the path that the, the people, the monks did uh, before, because that's the directest way to the village. Okay. Wow. 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 I'm starting to get energy. It's Philip's turn now to be a Russian. <laughs> <laughs> but he's a lot slower than a Russian. I'm from St. Petersburg, I'm more slow than the others. <laughs> we have this new rule that every time we talk in English and someone doesn't remember a word, then we think about it as hard as we can <laughs> and are not looking it up because it's a good exercise for your brain. And then now I feel like I had 10 minutes to figure out what Beroyen means in English. Uh -huh. <laughs> and Philip got the point. <laughs> I regret not rem remembering it. <laughs> Our heart just stopped, but uh... yeah, it just looked like they're <laughs> grilling a cat. What's going on here? Yeah, what's going on here? Hello? No, 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 no. It's good to be home. It's freezing cold outside and I'm glad we did the hike. I'm really proud of us. We didn't really feel that great, but now I feel a lot better. A lot better. Yeah, six hours or uh, 11 kilometers later, we uh, made it. And thank you guys to stick with us. And I hope you enjoyed the hike with us. Yeah, and if you liked that video, uh, please consider subscribing or giving us a like, a thumb up, thumbs up. Or if you didn't like something, write it to us in the comments. Uh, just uh, let you know what you didn't like. And if you hated that video, just send it to someone that you don't like. So give them also a good time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Someone is flying a drone and you know, it's not legal. You are forbidden to fly okay. a drone. They shouldn't fly the, fly, uh, fly, the, fly the drone, man. That's forbidden, eh? <laughs> <laughs>